couple of Charlotte leaders out here at the Fort Myers Optimus Invite. Tyler Cardillo on the right, uh, Ryan Schnelling on the left. Guys, thanks for talking to us. Good race today. First place for you, Tyler, and fourth place for you, Ryan. Happy with the, the way the race has played out? Yeah, we're really happy. We had a tough week again, and uh, we just wanted to come out here, you know, and uh, do our thing and hopefully finish up pretty high in the uh, standings. So. Yeah, we definitely we just we trained through this meet, worked hard this week, and just want to save the fast times for a little later in the postseason. So definitely happy, though. Well, it's a very interesting course. It's dried out a little bit from years past and not as sandy as it's been. But, you know, you've got that hill that you've got to negotiate <laughs> twice up and down. It's just as dangerous coming down as it's probably tough going up, isn't it? Yeah, uh, <laughs> you definitely feel it going up, but when you come down, you're like just trying to make sure your shoes don't fly off from behind you. You know, everybody's like trampling each other, but it's a, it's a fun, uh, it's definitely a fun man-made hill. So. Well, Tyler, you're pretty much up the front the whole race. Uh, you know, Skip Stafford from Fort Myers kind of took it out hard. Uh, Trent Craig was up there. What were you thinking when you were hanging back in third that first mile? Uh, I just wanted to, you know, sit. It's kind of windy out today. I just wanted to sit, you know, and have them take us through. And uh, we, we went through in like uh, like 5'10 or something, which wasn't too bad. But um, then from there, uh, we went through the two mile. And I knew it was a little slow, so I just you know, tried to break it open from there and hold off for as long as possible. Looks like you made a solid move coming down the hill the second time and kind of broke uh, Craig a little bit. Yeah, he, um, he's a great runner and everything, and uh, today I got the win, but, you know, it's always different. We always go back and forth. So. And how about you, Ryan? When did you make your move to kind of solidify fourth place? Oh, well, I was with Buddy Gates, Ryan Stafford, and Carlos Miranda with about an 800 to go coming around the baseball fields, and I just, I knew, I, I had a pretty good feeling I'd take it if we got down to a kick in the end, just had just stayed on them and took turns leading and just had, I just got the kick in the ends. Good deal. Well, you know, I don't get down to the Fort Myers, Lehigh areas uh, very often. Matter of fact, the first time I've been down here. But what I've sensed, to be quite honest with you, is a sense of community, especially on the boy side. It looks like all you guys are on first name basis. Are you all friends? Do you train together during the summer? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we really are. We, uh, you know, we're always racing each other and everything, and we have just a great camaraderie between everyone. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. And um, this summer, the Bregos, Anthony Brego, has a. Uh, took us up to Georgia and we actually trained in the hills and mountains up there so this wasn't as I don't know, it wasn't as painful as it, us <laughs> as it was in some of the other runners so that helped us a lot. Well we got lucky on the weather today not too too hot and a little bit of wind. Hey guys I'm coming back in the spring to check out the new track. <laughs> Alright sounds good. Four by eight team gonna get ready for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, definitely. Sir. Looking for one spot so. Alrighty. Well best of luck the rest of cross-country season we'll see you guys down here soon. Alright thank you. Thank you.